The family of the former Director General of the Federal Corporation, Federal Corporation of Nigeria, Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, Mr. Ben Egbuna, organized a review of a book he wrote in Lagos, the non-fiction book titled A Destiny Fulfilled, written by Mr. Egbuna himself before his demise, is his autobiography. The event had an, in attendance the wife of the author, Betty Egbuna, the former Director General of the Nigeria Television Authority, NTA, Shola Omole, and a host of others. Our correspondent, Paul George, was there. It is a feeling of nostalgia as family, friends, and colleagues gather at a book review in honor of the former Director General of Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, FRCN, Mr. Ben Egbuna, who passed in January 2021. Chronicling the life and times of the former DG and author are his family and friends. His wife, Betty Egbuna, recounts with laughter a moment the husband chose radio as his first love. As a first son, Uche Egbuna is thankful his father left a legacy. You know, one thing that got me angry one time was when he became DG of FMC and he was in an interview. And when they asked him about the work, he said, in fact, what about your wife? He said, my first wife is radio. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> they, so he said, what's wrong with this? And he said, I work with myself. He said, what's wrong with this? He said, why? He said, Betty, go now. What's wrong with this? He said, Betty, go now. 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 He said, There's something he always said. And he said that, no matter what money can buy it to me, only, your, only, only the works of your eyes. I think I'm correct. So, and I've lived by that, and I call, I think my brother always says that our father is our first mentor. And he's still, even his spirit is still our first mentor and our role model. So, uh, we are we're happy as a family, and we're grateful for everyone that's turned up today to show support and speak so well about our dad. Mr. Iguna's friend and one time colleague, a former DG of NTA, Shola Omoli, eulogizes him. If you are honest, you put the best person in the position and you allow him to do his job. Tokaji, Ben was just an excellent individual. He just wanted everything done right, no matter who you are. And that's the spirit everybody ought to have because that's the way they trained us in NBC in those days, in Radio Nigeria. If I was going to read the news, I had to be at the best of my game. If I didn't do it well, the bosses would come down hard on me. So they brought us up well. And Ben imbibed those lessons and put them in practice every single day. That's what we ought to be doing. Other colleagues pay glowing tributes. Ben was an engaging, strict, upright individual. His professional work helped to shape public broadcasting in Nigeria. For over 35 years, he helped to shape two of Nigeria's major public institutions in the media, Radio Nigeria and Voice of Nigeria. This man's life was an adventure, an adventure worth reading. I wanted to go for a fellowship and um People here in Lagos, that the Lagos office said no, there's a ban on people going for fellowship. And I tried and tried. And then somebody said, well, if we can go to Abuja and talk to the DG, maybe. But I went and I saw him and he, he laughed. He just debunked all that I heard in Lagos. And there was nothing like that. He didn't say that. And so he asked me, what do you want? And I said, I needed an endorsement for my application. And he gave it to me. You know, so I'll never forget. That's why I got certified as a media trainer. A lot of people believe that success is something you step into. But this is somebody that, by dint of hard work, brilliance, extreme intelligence, and dedication, and perseverance, was able to rise from an, a trainee news person, an assistant news person, all the way through the ranks, to the director general and i can tell you it wasn't an accidental thing his friends family and colleagues all believe that ben eguna may have shared his earthly vessel but his soul lives on in his great work paul george plus tv news hello 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.